Sometimes you know an artist, but you don't really know an artist. So let's get to know Black a little better. In this video, we'll be covering five things that you may not know about the East Atlanta singer. Let's start with number one, the pronouncing of his name. Though being called Black since childhood to his friends, parents, and grandparents, contrary to some people's belief, Black is actually not pronounced six lakh, like the way it's spelled. A lot of people that may have never heard how his name is pronounced often opt to saying six lakh, which is understandable, but the six acts as a B which stylizes his name differently. Black grew up in Zone 6 Atlanta, which definitely acted as an influence for using a six in his name, as well as six being a reoccurring number in his life. Although it is a good point to note that the word black in itself is such a popular word, just with the color alone among other things. Adding a six instead of a B makes the name so much more search friendly through social media platforms, Google and YouTube, that it was a very, very smart move. Imagine if Black spelled his name the regular way. It would probably be hard to find him through all the regular spelled Black searches going on every day. Were you one of those that said his name wrong? Be honest. Number two, he battle rapped since middle school. Before singing, Black started as a rapper and he started music around the age of three or four. His dad was also a musician, so Black had his first recording experience in his dad's studio. During the middle school era, Black did tons of battles, even one with someone that you wouldn't even believe. That's right, it was Young Thug. Black still shows his rap ability on some of his tracks, but in today's era, since sometimes rap comes off as melodic, people still consider him as singing. We wonder if he'll ever return to the battle rap scene though. Number three, he's aware of the climate of music on the internet. Most artists we listen to these days are sometimes so focused on themselves that they often don't really check for what or who else is relevant out there in the music world via the internet. Black isn't one of those artists. He avidly checks to see what the overall consensus is of people, for example, if they think he's taking too long, they've moved on to different artists, or etc. He realizes he isn't just making music to be in his basement, but he's really out here trying to be a great and successful artist. Black is also aware of who else is out there as far as other artists peers and the current trends. Being so aware of what's going on is smart and helps keep you on your grind, especially for building a larger fan base, touring, and staying relevant. Number 4. Before Laverne and Interscope, he was signed to Flowrider's label. After dropping out of college, Black went to Atlanta to get into a quick deal which was pretty much a street deal that he probably shouldn't have got involved in. He quickly got out of that deal and had taken a flight to Miami based off a team member of his having a sister that worked for Flowrider's label. They went to Flowrider's studio and saw all the nice cars, lavish lifestyle and everything. This was seen not just for what it was, but as an opportunity in general. It's during this trip that Flowrider and his label signed Black and his group without Black having a lawyer. They all had looked over the contract and came up with an agreement within themselves. Between the four of the group, they had got about a 5k signing bonus. Black spent half the money and ended up not spending the other half, also not even knowing where it went, but had full access to Flowrider's studio. Black ended up being signed to Flowrider's label for three to four years. Number five, Black launched his own hot sauce. With the release of his six piece hot EP, Black announced he'd be dropping his own hot sauce called 600 Degrees by Black in August 2020. Along with the music and hot sauce, he'll be doing a collab with Postmates in Atlanta and the local black owned restaurant Goodfellas for a black on black business collab. The sauce sells for $9.99, but doesn't display how many Scoville units the sauce is. For those of you that don't know, the Scoville is a unit that is used to measure how hot a sauce is. Even though the sauce is named 600 degrees, we're guessing it probably will be hotter than 600 Scovilles because that would put it at about the same level as Frank's Red Hot Sauce or Fire Sauce from Taco Bell. All we know is to absolutely buy it and try it when it's officially out. And you could do that by visiting shop.sixlack.com. <laughs> I know we use six lack there. Are there some crazy facts about black we're missing? If so, drop them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.